Hi everyone, welcome to the QEOps channel, I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be improving one of the previous tests that we created because we are just checking if the array was not empty but then I think we need to go a little bit further and actually check if the data is the one that we were expecting but for that we need to change a little bit of how our pet API is working, right? So if you haven't subscribed, please do so, hit the bell to receive the notification of, of the next videos I'm also going to be posting the links for my previous videos so you can watch everything and keep it up with what you have been trying to achieve. And let's start. So we have this receive API list here. And when we take a look at here, we, we, sorry, I receive a list of pets available. This is only checking if the array is not empty, right? But this is kind of incomplete because I can search for pending, I can search for sold, and all of those have data, right? I also can search for available, which is what we are doing. But now when I took a, when I take a look at this, I have the status available. So I'm actually testing the endpoints. Not it's not only if the endpoints is returning something. I need to check if the the animals, the pets returned are actually available. Right? It cannot, I cannot search for available and is returning uh, depending or is returning sold. And this is not this is not something that we are doing. Right? So what we're going to do, we're going to be a little bit more flexible and we are going to change here our API to return a response. And this is very similar to what I explained in previous videos. I'm going to be posting the link here for you. So we're going to just duplicate this because I don't want to delete this, this code. I'm just going to say uh, unnecessary scenario step uh, done for the sake of learning. And I receive another list of pets available, right? I'm going to create this step definition. I'm going to pass this as a variable. This is also going to be as a variable here, string status. And now I'm going to do a bunch of stuff only here, right? I'm, this is going to be everything in one single step. So I'm going to go to my pet API and I'm going to uh, uncomment this and I'm going to work on this one. So this is going to be a response. So th this code here, sorry for not mentioning, is the one that we did in previous videos. I already posted the video here for you so you can watch why we did this way. Uh, so this is going to be returning a response and get pets response by status, right? And I'm going to copy all the way to the get. I'm going to make it pretty and that's it. We are returning the get and the get is a response. See, response. This is what we are doing. Right? So now we don't have the actual pet already deserialized. I have the response itself. So now my test needs to do what? It need, I need to get that response. So this is a response and I'm going to say actual pets available response. And this is going to be pet API, get pets response by status, uh, and I need to pass a parameter the status, and I need to import the response. Great. So now I can do a couple of things here, right? Now I can work with the rest assured assertions. So I can come here and say actual pets dot uh, body, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to do the body, I'm going to do actual part then and I'm going to, we are going to be writing exactly like this now to make it more readable. Now I'm checking the HTTP status, HTTP status uh, 
status code, sorry. HTTP status. OK. So this is one of the things that I'm going to do. The other thing I want to check the body, right? So I want the body. Uh, and I'm, now I'm going to be using uh, Groovy Collections. Uh, I'll try to explain sim as simpler as I can. I'm going to create another video explaining Groovy Collections, how RestaShare uses Groovy, Groovy Collections, and how we can, you can figure out and study on your own Groovy Collections. But I'll, I'll try to keep it simple here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I want the body size to be checked. So this is the first thing that I want to do. I want to check the body size, and I want that the body size needs to be seven because there are seven animals available. I can put a dot and I can now do another body here and I can I can keep doing this, right? But I rather not do this. I rather create a block here of body and I'm going to break this and I'm going to break this as well. So now I can separate it by commas and I can do another size here. Size, not size, but now I want to check that I already checked that the size of the array of the response is seven, but I also need to check if the total uh, the total amount of available items is also seven. So how I do this? I do a find all, and I put a block on this find all. So this is Groovy Collection again. It's going to find and iterate through all of the items. And it's going to give it a name to each and every one of those items. And it's going to be called IT, which is item. Right? So in each one, so the one, the item one is going to be referenced as IT, item two referenced as IT, and so on and so forth. So what I want is I want the status of this item to be equal to available. So it's going to search available. It's going to search for every item that has the status available available and what's going to do with the with the one that it, fi it finds is going to put that in another array so at the end i'm going to have an array of only the ones that it found that it was available so now at the end of my curly brackets i can put a size here and now i can do my assertion with uh hemcrest saying that this is need, this also needs to be seven right i can come here to my pet and i can run it works right so did it work i can put six and it's going to fail right and if i check here i'm going i'm going to see that he was uh he expected six but he was actually seven Right. So what I'm he doing here, I'm, I'm checking the total size of the response and I'm also checking that the, the, the items available are seven. So I'm doing two checks, right? So what I don't like here very much is that this is hard coded. The seven is hard coded. The seven is hard coded. If the data changes for some reason, this is going to fail because this is hard coded and it does not necessarily needs to fail. I can I can code in a way that's a little bit better. So I'm going to use the response here in my advantage. So what I can do is I can do exactly what we did here and get the the pet already already deserialized for me. So I can do that my actual pets, I already have the actual pets, it's a list of pet, is going to receive the actual pets available response, is the one here up top, and I'm going to say that the body, the JSON path of the body, and I want a list of it, and the pet.class, which is exactly the same what I did here. Now I can come here and I can change this to actual pets dot size in here actual pets dot size. I can rerun my test and it works. So now I'm checking now if the body changes the amount of uh, animals available, but even though they change, 
if all of those are available, I'm fine with that, right? So that pretty much it, folks. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notifications of the next videos. Uh, if you like it, give the thumbs up, and it's really important that you do because that's how the, the channel the channel can grow and more people can can have access to this information. So I guess I'll see you on next video. Thank you.